Okie dokie, so we're back in CAD again, alright, and you guys can see I've still got my same furniture symbols here, alright, but this week I'm going to, or now I'm going to talk about hatching. So hatching adds a, basically a material symbol or a pattern to part of your work, okay, most often it's used to represent like a splashback or maybe a floor tile or in floor, when you're looking at a floor plan, the solid black wall. Okay, so in order to hatch, you first need something that you want to hatch. So if you want to hatch a wall, you need the floor plan drawn. If you want to say hatch the bedspread, I need the bed drawn. Okay, so I've got quite a few options here that I could use. All right, so when we want to start hatching, just like with any tool in CAD, we type hatch. Okay, and you'll get this menu across the top. Okay, so first of all, let's look at this little preview that we've got here. If I click on the arrow next to it, we can see hatches. Okay, and here is my hatch library. All right, lots and lots and lots of hatches. And I'm going to jump all the way down to stars. Okay, because I want stars on my bedspread. So I've selected the stars uh, hatch and you, we can see it in preview here. And what my command line is telling me is pick the internal point. So basically click where I want my hatch to appear. So I'm going to click on my bedspread. And oh my goodness, it's all white. It's not what I want, is it? Okay. I can't see my stars at all. You haven't done it wrong. You've just not changed the scale. So up here, I'm going to try 100 and hit enter. Oh, and there we have it, stars. Probably too many. Let's try 20. Okay. So this little square here represents the scale of the hatch. So unless you've chosen a solid hatch, you should be able to see the pattern of your hatch. Okay, so I might choose triangles, actually zigzags on a table. We guys, you can, guys can see that they're changing. Okay, as I move through here. All right, when you are happy with the hatch, you just click close. Okay, and it's done. If you want to do a solid hatch, we start the same again. So hatch, enter. And then here where it says hatches, we can go to solids. And you'll see it will go to a solid. You can choose the color, okay, and pop it in here. And we can see that the center of my table is a solid hatch. Okay, I'm happy, so I'm going to click the X. If I then, if I'm then not happy with my hatch, I simply click on it and hit delete, just like anything else. If I want to change the scale, say of this hatch again, I click on it, this menu will come back, and I can change that to five. Okay, if I want to, or 500, in which case none appears, so maybe 100, there we go. Okay, so that is hatching. Thanks.